Hey what's up guys, OctoCrash here and today we'll talk about the strongest picks for each lane in patch 9.24. This patch has brought a lot of interesting stuff to the Summoner's Rift. That's new champion Aphilius, Diana's rework, Brom's buff and Yumi's update. That sounds complicated, but this guide will help you understand what's going on. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. But without further ado, let's dive right into it. Actually, there is one more thing you should do, guys. Head over to morelegends.com, link in the description. So we prepared this course, Novice to Challenger, which is personalized and where we cover all game aspects, including interface customization, champion and role selection, team interactions, vision, team play, deep in-game mechanics and more. The video course is divided into simple steps that will guide you from the very basics to advanced strategies. Seriously, you should try it, it's more than just guides on YouTube. As always, link in the description and now, finally, let's proceed. And the first thing we should talk about is, of course, Conqueror. It's still the most popular rune in the top lane and Mordekaiser is a great champion to abuse this keystone with. The modern Sauron of the top lane has almost 54% win rate. He has a powerful early game and can realize the initiative in almost any matchup already at level 1. Add to that the high sustain due to his build and runes, decent push potential and high damage both in duels and fights. Moreover, he's not an easy target for ganks, as his ultimate allows him to isolate an enemy in a 1v2 skirmish. At the same time, Mordekaiser has no complex mechanics and only one skill shot. Don't miss the chance to play this champion before he gets nerfed. A few more worthy top laners are Darius, Orn, Fiora and Renekton. If you ask me, Garen was nerfed a bit too much, so he's no longer a reliable pick, but I'll keep playing him anyways. Because you know, obviously, Demacia. With that out of the way, let's move on. Number one pick in the jungle is an agile guy called Echo. He has fast jungle clear, low cooldowns, high AoE damage, hard CC, mobility and a gap closer. But what's most important, he simply deals way too much damage. Echo can either pressure lanes or the opposing jungler. The latter is even better since you have mobility and you risk nothing. Even if the enemy laners come to the aid, you'll be very difficult to catch. And the icing on the cake is your awesome scaling into late. Unlike such early game junglers as Lee Sin or Elise, Echo doesn't lose a pinch of his potential till the very end of the match. In other words, this guy has all the time in the world. The other junglers you can pick in this match are Release, Olaf, Warwick and, would you guess, Master Yi. Really, Master Yi in 2019, what's wrong with this world? Anyway, now to the mid lane. The reign of assassins isn't over yet. Honestly, early pressure in the side lane and contesting dragons are more important than scaling. That's why mobile assassins rock the scene. And surprise surprise, number one on our list is Nocturne. Despite the fact that this guy is actually a jungler, he has a great laning phase in mid. He has a spell shield and heal from passive, which grant him sustain and survivability. Nocturne can quickly push the lane and make a couple of unexpected ganks. Enemy wards? Haven't heard. Rush Sanguine Blade and only then build Dragthar. The blade grants additional lifesteal and attack speed, so you can even farm the jungle while roaming. As for runes, you can choose between Electrocute and Lethal Tempo. Both are quite good. If the enemy team has many squishes, take Electrocute. If there are more tanks and bruises, pick Lethal Tempo. In the S tier, there are also such champions as Cassiopeia, Cassidin, Yasuo and Fizz. And we're moving on to the bot lane where Critical Strike runs the show. And who can abuse Critical Strike better than Miss Fortune? Hold on, just try it out, I'm telling ya. Seriously, after Master E jungle and Nocturne mid, Miss Fortune with crit chance doesn't sound that odd. This lady has insane lane pressure, she's the new Draven. 2-3 Doran's Blades, Overheal and Legend Bloodline grant him a phenomenal sustain in lane. To secure a victory, play with a disengaged support. There'll be Brom, Lulu, Janna, Bard or Zyra. And a few marksmen to enlarge your champion pool in this patch. Senna. She's still good despite the nerf. Caitlyn, Ash and Jinx. These ADCs have long attack range and can easily get the lane priority. Add to that high push and poke potential and good scaling into lane. Last but not least, supports. Despite all the patch changes, Senna's nerf, Brom's buff and Yumi's rework, Janna is still the queen of supports. The reason is that she combines high poke damage, W plus Arcane Comet, disengage potential, that's her Q and R, and a shield, which also increases her carry's damage. What else do you really need to win the lane? Of course, a perfect match for Janna is a lane bully marksman, say Miss Fortune or Caitlyn. But she can carry even weak ADCs, that is why she's so good. And a few more worthy supports, Soraka, Blitz, Zyra and Tarek. Choose one to your liking. Blitz has hard engage, Soraka is an ardent support, Tarek provides sustain and is just handsome and Zyra, well, she's a mage. 
so that's basically it for now guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Now, have we missed anyone? Let us know in the comments below. What other champions would you personally add to this list? Share, like, subscribe and of course don't forget to check out the epic course at molelegends.com. On this note, as always guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. And of course, good luck in your solo queue.